I started talking with Tomer and the creative team about this production when I started working for the company in May of 18. So we're almost two years into process before we actually see product. And that's a fairly typical timeline for us. It could be a little longer to experiment with some design and things like that, but it's been almost two years. And to see, you know, this now actually coming on stage is kind of incredible. It's been a while since I've done a new production. Dutchman was the last full new production, so it's been two plus years for the company as well. Being able to be creative and make this our own, I think is, you know, part of our goal as an organization. And I think you draw in different people when you do that as well. People who want to be involved in a creative process. We're saying this is the way this world wants to look and we have a major part in that. They talk a lot about moonlight throughout the piece and they talk about the moon changing throughout the piece. I think Zalame is tied to the moon. So this is, I don't even know, it's probably close to 40 feet in diameter, maybe a little more. You can't see the pattern on it now. Uh, once we get everything up and the lighting started, it is actually a print of the moon. It's not painted. Uh, there are three different panels. Uh, it's seamed because it's 108 inch wide fabric, but the, there is an image of the moon on the panels that uh, is kind of amazing that we'll project on. And it's in through the whole piece. I think the biggest risk for us is when you take a piece and you conceptualize. You kind of work from the back to the front and make sure that all of the different pieces and looks and things like that work. So I think that's a huge risk for us. Materials wise, uh, you know, some of the things are new. We're not quite sure what they are and we'll see how all that works. The deck is big. You know, there are three, four pieces. There are two walls, the deck itself and the cistern and then the palace in the back and that's it. It takes place in one locale in a 24 hour period, if even that. I think conceptually, the way they placed the piece in this kind of timeless era with hints of different eras, clearly, once you see the rest of the scenery, it's not defined as you know the Middle East at the time that the story took place. You know What's amazing to me working with this creative team, with Tomer, Erhard, Maddie, Robert, and Aaron Teachman, who's working on projections with Earhart, is their commitment to a style and pushing everything into that and making sure it makes sense in the world itself. The show came in in uh, mid-December and we all went down to the warehouse and we were like, man, all of this is big. I mean, the pieces are big. And I think we all say that. We look at drawings and, and you see things in a two-dimensional format. And then when you see the three-dimensional elements, you're like, that's kind of amazing. So I think the enormity of, of the piece and, and how it fills the space will be really amazing. I think that's what Tomer wants to do is, is, you know, the really successful companies over the years have had a very distinctive style. And I think we're beginning to build that style. Taking a piece like this and, and putting our own stamp on it and saying, this is who we are and this is what we want to do, I think it is also exciting for not just those of us on the production side and the creative side, but for the company as a whole to be able to say, I'm a part of this organization that does these things. Thank you.